So you love African head wraps, but you are not sure how to tie them? Let me help you out. In this video, I'm going to show you five different scenarios depending on the look you are going for. But to be clear, these are not the only ways you can do it. I just want to lay the foundation so you can run with it. I recommend you start by folding the long side of your scarf in about four to five inches because you need the edge of the fabric to be inside. For this first style, let's assume you want an updo. You are able to pull your hair up or you have one of those props to be able to give you the look of an updo you just need to put it on top or make your hair into an updo and tie it the way you see me do basically you start from the back of the of your head and then pull it up and just wrap it around your updo it's just that simple when you get to a comfortable spot you make a knot like you see me doing right here and then you feed the excess fabric into one of the, you know, one of the, the folds and there you have the look. Simple as that. Then you can go ahead and adjust it the way you like and put in any excess fabric. For this second look, let's assume you also want an updo. Or maybe your hair is not long enough to create that look or you do not have any of those props. This is what you do. Start from the back again. Just take it to the front and instead of just wrapping it around what could have been on top of your head, you want to create a knot like that and then twist the fabric all the way to the end. Create a twist with the fabric all the way to the end. After that, you want to place each hand on both ends and then create an onion look like you see me do. This might require a few times of practice. But then you put in the excess fabric and stash it in there. Just shove it in there. And you're good to go. I was pulling my hair over here. But there's the look you get. You, 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 you get. So the updo is a little more forward than you will have with a normal hair. But it's still beautiful. This is actually my go-to method. My favorite way to do it because I feel like most people are able to pull it off whether or not they have hair. Well, that's just my opinion. Next up, let's assume you do not want an updo. You still want to start by folding in the long edge of your fabric, but this time instead of starting from the back, you are going to go from the front, like you just saw me do. And then you create this look at the back. You could either make a knot right there at the back or just pull it forward and then create a knot in the front. So to give it a good look, you want to also twist the fabric, um, make it look nice and fitted twist the fabric and then make the knot and shove the rest of it inside somewhere just find somewhere to put it and you look beautiful just like it looks here this is going well so far right you see how simple it is all right next scenario you do not also want an updo but you want to have the look of a turban you want the turban look but not an updo this is what you do you start from the back so when you go from the back, you have the look of a turban, but you go from the front, it gets it gets to be a straight line on your forehead, right? But here you start from the back, and then instead of creating a knot in the front like we did earlier, you just want to turn it and just let it do what it do, just like you saw me do. And then put the excess somewhere. Make all the necessary adjustments. And you're ready to walk out the door. Finally, let's assume it's one of those days and you just couldn't be bothered. You want to do the bare minimum. This is what you do. Start again by folding in the edge of a fabric. And just start from the front, pull it to the back and create a knot. You can create a second knot to secure it and then leave the rest of the fabric hanging. This is a whole other look on its own. Because like I said, there's no one perfect way on how to make a head wrap. Because everybody is different, every style is different. So go ahead and create your own style. Knock off every hesitation and just go for it. By watching this video, you have been equipped with the foundational knowledge you need to create any look in a head wrap. As you can see from that bare minimum style, you could do it to the side and that's another look. You could bring it to the front. That is a whole other look. And then you can also take it all the way to the back and make an onion bun at the back. And that's a whole other look in it by itself. So there are really many ways you can go about it. Let me challenge you. Prop the phone in front of your mirror and just try. Try to make your hair drop work. 
you you will you will be surprised at how easy you could get it. I'd like to see it. Will you do it? Thank you for watching.